everybody and Sachandra and I are so looking forward to meet you all in 2024. I think we're talking in March at the HOPE event and we're going to speak about uh, snake remedies and not just snake but all reptilian remedies that are available in the Materia Medica. Mm. Snake remedies have been a part of our system, the homeopathic uh, science, uh, since a very long time. Yeah, we all know how the whole proving of lachesis affected uh, one of our pillars, Dr. Herring. And of course, since then, Naja, lachesis, Vipera, um, Bothrops, yeah, Elapse, uh, the Bandit Crate, uh, so many remedies have been helping mankind. Um, this time that we come in March, we bring you our last 25 years of experience with the reptilian remedies through case taking, classical homeopathy, materia medica, as well as through the MAP system. So you're going to get a full capsule of information and philosophy on the reptilian remedies. Um, we have a mix of cases that I do want to share with you, Sachandra and I both. We will be doing some pathological cases. These remedies are extremely good for ulcers, varicosities, Crohn's disease, and we've used them as local remedies and had great results also in gangrenes. We've used them as constitutionals in um, autoimmune diseases, um, autoimmune vasculitis, autoimmune um, Crohn's, so colitis, and also in malignancies. We've used them in uh, mental and emotional complaints as constitutional remedies. So you will get an array of all these different shades of and again, I'm saying not just the snake, but other remedies like the lizard, the crocodilian remedies, and also the turtle and tortoise remedies that are now available in the Materia Medica. Um, there's another interesting thing that we will talk about apart from the remedies and their indications is the plant counterparts of the reptilian remedies. And what do I mean by that? For those of you who know our MAP system, you know that we talk about the correspondences between the three kingdoms and that the three kingdoms can be spread on the same universal grid of the uh, periodic table. So we'll also look at how solar nails, yeah, this is all your belladonna, hyoscyamus, tabacum, how the apialis, your secuta, right? And how the drosserales, huh? the drosserale remedies like the drosera as well, a dionia, yeah? saracenia, how all these plant remedies can actually be plant counterparts to the um, reptilian remedies. There will be a very specific information dished out about reptilian personalities how will you choose or how will you find or how will you diagnose a reptilian personality and they are not always negative as is i would say a misconception in homeopathy they are extremely powerful people they work for the um, you know they work for the for against injustice or they work for those who have been unjustly treated um, they're often working in NGOs, fighting in the Green Revolution or fighting um, against the system for those who have been wrongly treated by the system. So there's a whole lot of positivity to the reptilian remedies as well and the reptilian personalities. So looking forward to share all this wonderful information with all of you. Mm -hmm.